Now, before I introduce my next guests and introduce the next story, which is about charity, by the way, have a look at this. If I have to tell you who they are, you are clueless, so I'm not going to tell you for a second, OK? Some famous faces from the world of rock, including Deep Purple. ...will perform at a charity gig in London. Last year, the first Sunflower Jam raised over £90,000. It's hoped this one will be even bigger and better, with plenty of stars lending their support. <laughs> It was decided that we should have a house band comprising of really, really good players. And we had the great fortune of uh, tying in uh, Wix Wickens to be the MD for the whole process, who would coordinate uh, getting people together, suggesting people for the show. Uh, there was Bernie Marsden on guitar, I remember, Phil Manzanera, Roxy Music. All good lads. Some drummer, what was his name? Pace. We were also very privileged to tie in Robert Plant and Paul Weller. Well, I'm a friend of Jackie Pace, who, uh, who set this up last year, and I came last year and enjoyed it a lot. Um, and uh, I think it's a fantastic cause, um, you know, helping kids to make their lives when they've got cancer brighter. It's a good thing to do. This is a great venue. We had a fantastic year last year. I hope this year is going to be even greater. Um, and uh, I, I, you'd have to pay me to stay away, really. Yeah, the, the second year was uh, a few of the same guys and a couple of new guys. Steve Balsamo came along to sing, but we still had Wicks and me and, uh, and Pacey. And Steve White uh, also played drums as well. Ray Cooper took over the percussion slot. We got status quo to do something they don't normally do, and that is these little one-up benefit shows. And Gary Moore, an old friend of mine, kindly agreed to do some music. He said, we'll do three songs. And we said, fine. At the end of it, he had such a good time, he said he wished he'd done more. To have Gary come on, Gary Moore, come on and play with Pacey and with, with Roger Glover from, from Purple and then for me to join in on the last of his numbers, that was, that was great fun, I enjoyed that. I have high hopes that this will become an established event that, that will be reasonably regular. Two reasons, one, one because it's for such a good cause but also because it's such huge fun. You know, putting, putting it together and, and trying to think of the, the right musicians who are going to get together and enjoy it. Well, this can go on and grow organically and, and it'll last as long as people have uh, uh, long pockets and hopefully long arms. How did the Sunflower Jam 2008 go? Absolutely fantastic. The rehearsals this year were at John Henry's and God bless him, he's really helped us, you know, these Sunflower Jams. Ian and I went to the 
I think the first day's rehearsal and it was really solely and we had Amy Winehouse's singers Ade and Salon and just the feeling in the room and how happy everybody was, we just knew it was going to be the most amazing night. Bruce Dickinson came and sang three songs with a house band and then we couldn't keep him off stage and he was jumping up and down on stage and singing with Ian Gillen when Purple came on. So absolutely brilliant, brilliant night. Tickets went really, really quickly. We had more people than ever before. I mean, we, we had to turn people away. It was jam-packed full. There was a great vibe going there. to get what we're doing out to musicians, to maybe people who might be interested in sponsoring us. That would be a great help. But to send to the musicians as well, who just to give them an idea and a feel of what we've done. We've managed to create something really special, something very different. It feels like a big party. It doesn't feel like a charity do still. I feel the Sunflower Jam has the potential to keep on going and keep raising more money. If I think back three years ago and to be where we are now and to have raised so much awareness for complementary treatment for cancer patients and the amount of money that's been raised to help all these people uh, is, is absolutely brilliant. Yeah.